everyone this is mr informal back with another video or content this time it is actually um i will be presenting you my 2021 year end watch collection this is the watches that i have accumulated over the years not just in the year 2021 basically this is all of my watch collection so i'm not sure where to start but you know what let's just go ahead and uh let's start this baby out and first and foremost i just want to present the uh, my latest edition um i will put a link in this video for each of the watch uh hopefully i have a video of each of the watch but uh first come first serve is the seiko sna 411 or the seiko flight master in the elastic strap so that's number one number two still in the box is the casio uh what model is this i think it's the dw 90 or should i say the mission impossible i like this watch because it's not hard to change the straps even though it's 19 millimeters i will switch it into a barton elite elastic uh, watch band this is a pretty cool watch uh, in the next watch is the Steinhardt Ocean 39 GMT I like this watch it comes in the Armia Armilla Perlon strap right there let me just take it out of the pillow so you can see it is a pretty cool combination what can I say it actually uh, it comes in a 30 millimeter size very beautiful watch I like this strap a lot certainly I love pearl on strap so then just let me just put this here in the center the next watch is well everyone knows this this is the Seiko Sarb 035 in black it's a beautiful watch I got lucky with this before it was discontinued it comes I changed the bracelet into a Jubilee I love Jubilee due to the comfort articulation as you can tell uh, I'm not gonna sell this watch obviously I think this is an all-around great looking watch next watch is my mini turtle seiko mini turtle in yellow the zimbe or thailand edition look at that dial right there it is absolutely beautiful the color dial is actually in true yellow color not in lemon yellow or lime yellow it is actually true yellow it come uh, i changed the strap to a barton elite rubber strap as you can tell the zimbe edition right there I love this strap right here and this is the strap that I will be using for this Casio right here very comfortable it also comes in two length sizes automatically when you buy it pretty cool it actually fits well I absolutely think the Seiko Mini Turtle is the most underrated Seiko diver that uh, in the prospects line to me in the future to me this will be a cult classic uh, yes, it is in the 42 millimeter, but it is short lug to lug. Anybody can wear this. I know the Cyclops is there, but I don't really mind it. As you get old, you're going to need it anyways. Not only that, especially in this color, it's absolutely beautiful. Also, it comes in the Pepsi. I'm interested in the Pepsi one, which is the Patty Turtle or Patty Mini Turtle. It is absolutely beautiful, but I do think the Seiko Mini Turtle is the most underrated diver uh, watch in the Seiko Prospects line. Moving on, well, here's a classic in the black or negative screen. It is, well, a G Shock, uh, the DW5600, or whatever model it comes with. It's basically a DW. It comes with the cage right there. You know, just for hiking, going out anywhere outdoors or if you just need an everyday watch this is a classic right there every I think watch hobbyist needs to have one of these just so uh, because you can take it anywhere 
And then my tutor, Black Bay 36, bought this earlier this year. Luckily, I I got it because it was in demand later in the months or later in the year. No one seems to buy this. Not only that, I bought this for fifteen hundred dollars, and the price just keeps going up and up. Sorry about that. I put this in backwards, and here it is. The Tudor Black Bay 36. It is to me an all-around watch. Go anywhere watch. If you only need one watch, this is the watch to have. Love the crown, the Tudor rose right there. Yes, there's the shield. The shield is also here, but it is an absolute beauty of a watch. Now moving on, this right here, it's a actually a watch hanger. Uh, you can just hook into any type of uh, shelf or a shopping cage, but just let's just check it out. So this is the Hamilton field khaki. Uh, it's a hand wind or hand hand wound, whatever you want to call it, in a tan perlon, which matches the fake patina in the hands and also in the markers behind the numerals. Very slim watch, love this watch. The only thing I don't like about this watch is very long, long lugs protruding. I wish it was shorter. But it is what it is as you can tell very legible very legible it's just one of those uh, watch that it's an everyday watch I guess lots of everyday watch around here and here we have a, uh, a Timex Timex Q black uh, blue and red or the Pepsi color day date numeral uh, markers right there uh, quartz this is a quartz watch right here La, uh, one of those very fun watch that again you can take anywhere or just one of those watch that just wear it and forget about it just one of those watch and then what do we have here let's put this on the side it is the SKX 013 by Seiko Discontinued, still in the original Jubilee. You can see the scuffs, marks right there. You know I'm wearing all my watches. Still wear this watch to this day, even though I have other watches, but always love this watch. Not only that, the bezel actually aligns. So take it however you want it, but this is just one of those watch that I actually bought before a lot of these Seikos. And there was a time in, uh, I think a couple years where I all I did was wear this watch. And I still love this watch to this day. Moving on is, well, you know what this is. If you look at my video, or if you watch my videos, it is the Islander ISL 37 in Salmon Dial in the Jubilee. It comes in the Jubilee, of course. Like I said, I will provide links in this video for each watch. Hopefully I have all the links or have all the videos for each watch. Here it is. I love this watch. You know, this watch, I haven't done a review on it, but when I wore this watch on a sunny day, it finally made sense. The salmon actually toned down, tones down the reflection and this becomes so legible during sunlight especially when you're driving when the sun is hitting your watch it is absolutely legible it is not like white where it reflects light so moving on well it's a copper dial or many people call salmon dial is the laurier safari in collaboration with the urban gentry there's the lion right there 36 millimeter I'm thinking about putting this in a uh, Jubilee with a straight end links, but I like it in the Perlon. I've always been a, I've always been a fan of the Perlon. But certainly, look at that with the dome, 
crystal right there. I love the big, big crown right there. 369. Then moving on. Oh, uh, here's a fun watch right there. I love this watch right here. Very fun. Gold tone. There is silver right there. Stainless steel. Uh, it is a collaboration of Timex and also a celebration of Pac-Man. Check that baby out. Love it. And here's something. The intro. Absolutely amazing. And love that glow right there. The indie glow. Always like wearing this watch, especially when I'm going out on the evening or at night. It's really fun. Moving on is a dress watch. It is a Timex Marlin, 34 millimeters, I think. Love this watch. And then aftermarket leather, leather strap right there, that gold tone. I match it with a gold, uh, gold bracelet and other gold accessories. Love this. Love the sunburst, the silver sunburst dial. Very underrated, hand wind. You can, hopefully you can hear that. Very slim watch right there. Just one of those very simple watch whenever you go on a evening. Very dressy. And then lastly is my Citizen. I forgot the model number, but it's a field watch. It's a day and date watch. A Echo Drive right there. Very legible, simple, everyday watch. Comes in a aftermarket uh, Nubuck brown leather strap. Uh, 36 millimeter, I think, or 37, either way. Again, it looks nice. I uh, love the red hands. Very legible. Just one of those watch that you can wear it and just forget it. Uh, it actually tells time. It can be a field watch, a pilot watch, an everyday watch. Very, very light too. Slim. There's that citizen globe right there. Uh, that is basically it for my uh, watch collection for the year 2021. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm looking at the whole collection right now and I can't believe I have this many. I do wear all my watches every other day. Uh, sometimes I would wear this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Just depends. For the most part when I do go out at night I do like to wear uh, these type of watches at night these these gold tones or something dressy um, but this watch right here it can be worn any day or any night uh, any night love this watch right here but certainly uh, my current collection is uh, I think I'm looking at 17 or oh, I don't even know I haven't even count but it's definitely less than 20 that's for sure and uh, I'm basically all complete I mean I have my flight uh, pilot watch right here, my divers, this and this, and you already know, especially this right here. And then you got your sport watch with the ISL 37 salmon, your SARB right there, your dress watch, I mean your field watch right here with the Hamilton and also the citizen it got quartz solar automatic i mean certainly tough casio and so that basically it hopefully you enjoyed this watch collection of mine for the year 2021 and if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and so hopefully you enjoy that i will see you well next year happy new years bye bye